Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Beyond a Steel Sky, and I'm gonna pick up where I left off, which was just entering the recycling center. Enjoy! dust. I wasn't sure what the terminal controlled. Hmm. Not going down there. Let's check it out. Some of the trash was marked with the logo of Asio City. Ah! What? Who are you? Whoa! Hello. What do you want? You security? No. Uh, I'm looking for a guy called Leet. Well... You just found him. Leets the name. Takes the game. What can I do for you today? It's about a friend of mine. A guy called Graham. I think you know him. I'm looking for some information. What sort of information? I need to know what he was doing here. Listen, pal, I can barely remember my own name. Let alone every Tom, Dick and Graham that comes through here. I'll have to check my records. Sure. But, oh, my head. What's up? Are you okay? Ah, oh, it's my bleeding noggin. Need my medicine. Your medicine? Aye, my medicinal moonshine. It's over in the other building. Take this and fill it to the top. Then bring it back here. And you'll check your records? I will. You can trust me, pal. An unspoken deal had been made. Leet wanted his moonshine. I wanted information. Hmm. It sounds familiar. A model unicorn had been made out of plasticine. I wouldn't have touched that, pal. Not if you know what's good for you. It was a rubber fish. It was a vicious looking crusher. Surprisingly, the drive cogs were exposed. That is a cool view. Definitely looks better with the shadows. Is there a ladder or something? So much dust. Oh! There's a door here. That, ooh, cool. That's an even better view. Should have like a picture mode where you could just take photos. Scared of heights? Okay, let's see. 
Uh oh. This area is restricted. You should not be here. It looked like the stun droid was guarding the whole process. To get to Leet's moonshine, I needed to find a way to disable the droid. Return from whence you came, human. This area is not safe for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ouch. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Not cool, man. Alright, let's go figure it out. I said you need to distract him somehow. Maybe the crusher? It looked like the control panel for the conveyor belt and the crusher. Aha. It was a vicious looking crusher. Surprisingly, the drive cogs were exposed. Well, that had thrown a wrench in the works. Or to be more precise, a crowbar. Let's try turning it on again. Oh, isn't it working? Ah. The conveyor belt jolted to life and clunked and came to an abrupt stop. the old locker. Alright, let's try that. Well, that had thrown a wrench in the works. Or to be more precise, a crowbar. All right, so I hide, but let's see. I have to get in there first. On it now. Let's try turning it. The robot was nicely stuck in the ground. The whole mechanism was toast. Nice. How's your head? Tis but a scratch! This is your fault. I'll do you for that. You're trapped in an industrial crusher. 
I'm invincible! No, you're defective. I had to admire the droid's spirit, but it was defeated. Hey, what about my crowbar? What my crowbar back do? The droid was no longer a threat. Ah, my crowbar. Where'd it go? It was my crowbar. <laughs> I was worried I lost it there. I like my trusty crowbar. Alright, let's head up. Hopefully there's no more shocking robots. That oh, wasn't nice. Stunning robots? Really cool view. Okay. Where to? Which way? Does it matter? I don't know. Either way, we get a view, right? Oh, the door. I was struck by a wave of heat and burnt plastic. A blazing furnace lit the room, fed by a series of pipes leading into the roof. from the furnace were fierce. The gas that had been flowing through the pipes was clearly powering the furnace. No hacking. Hmm. That's not the way down. ingredient of Leet's moonshine appeared to be spangles. Hmm. It was a rusty tap for dispensing the moonshine. That is really green. Filled the bottle to the top. I hope that would encourage Lee to help me. Anything else going on here? Oh, that's a whoa! That's a lot of fire. The flames from the furnace were fierce. That's some cool fire. Oh, what's in there? Should I keep looking? It's old tech, so I guess that's why my hacking system is not working. Here. The droid was no longer a threat. Oh, it's the other side. I am invincible. <laughs> wow, is this whole area just for that moonshine? That's crazy. I would have ex I kind of thought there'd be more to do here. It's weird. All the moonshine. Can't waste that precious moonshine. <laughs> Wait, what's in there? Nothing? More cool views. Turn around and see what's on the other side. What 
Or did I just happen to choose the right side? Oh, there's more here. Huh. What? No, wait, wait. What is going on here? Anchor. Is this just for a cool view? The old sign was an anchor held by a hastily fastened cable. It had seen better days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anchor insurance. Part of town is not very pretty, though. My bag is sticking through me. What happened there? Weird glitch. There we go. Fixed it. around here rusty box the box was corroded and wouldn't open Heavy duty throw switch. Okay, why'd I do that? It's gonna be annoying if I didn't need to do that and I. What? The gas pipe looked like it fed the furnace below. It was covered in warnings, highly explosive. It was controlled by a rusty looking valve. long since broken. I couldn't turn the valve off this way. Looks like I'm taking that with me. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing up here. I guess hopefully it'll be clearer later. I guess let's go back. Very cool. Bartleby the building? Bartleby the building. 
Hi there, Leaf. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. There's a way with the fairies there. Any progress with my moonshine? You're in luck. I've got it right here. I knew that old security droid wasn't up to much. He won't be bothering you anymore. Good man. Now give me that bottle. So, what do you want to know? I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our friend Graham Grundy. Yeah? What's that? Well, he's dead. Dead? Oh, nuts. Damn shame. He was a lovely guy. Lovely. So I hear. Anyway, I'm borrowing his ID. You are? And uh, how's that working out for you? Not great. I'm having some technical problems. Well, you've come to the right fella. So what's the deal with that security droid? Nasty old rust bucket. Wouldn't he let me near my booze? Any more of them around? Not that I know of. I can celebrate now. Got a good stash of booze ready to go. Simple things, eh? I'm having some issues with my U-chip. Can you help? You bet. It's what I do. Well, there's a weird security flag on Graham's ID. Maybe that's why I can't access his messages. Oh? And every time someone scans my U-chip, they notice the error. A mentor from the Ministry of Well-Being is investigating it right now. You what? And you came here! You know they can track those things, right? I, uh, guess. We need to get that flag removed immediately. This could bring down my entire operation. Right. What do you need me to do? Quick! Get your hand on my workbench. Now. Ow. It was a clamp like the one Ember had on her bench. Probably for you chip hacking. Why is it so tight? Just stop you getting away, you idiot! <gasps> What's the cleaver for? What do you think? One more you chip for my trade, and two more thumbs for my collection. Now hold still, while I focus on your intelligence. I had to think fast. There had to be something within reach that I could use. Usually it takes a bit of flim flam to get some... The rubber fish just bounced off the guy's face. That's one more thumb for Jimmy the Thumbs. Why is it so tight? Just stop you getting away, you idiot. What's the cleaver for? What do you think? One more you chip for my trade, and two more thumbs for my collection. Now hold still, while I focus on your intelligence. I had to think fast. There had to be something within reach that I could use. I've got a wee sack of you chips over there in my goodie bag. I smashed the bottle over the guy's head. Nobody's ever got the best of Jimmy the Thumbs. Until now. So, you aren't lead then. I never said I was. Oh yes you did. You maniac. Everyone's got to have a hobby. What's wrong with stamp collecting? They call me Jimmy the Thumbs, pal. Not Jimmy the Philatelist. Thumbs? That's what you're after? And the U-chips. But mostly the thumbs. What do you even do with them? Just collect them. I like the approval they give me. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're crazy. Now tell me where to find Leet. The real Leet. He's hiding out. In a place too hot for the likes of you. Folks call it the... <coughs> Hellfire Club. Save your riddles, Jimmy. <laughs> <clears throat> and with that, Jimmy passed out. Looked like I have to find the real lead on my own. Huh. He passed out, which was probably for the best.
could use that. I wasn't going to get anything more out of Jimmy for a while. I'm going to take this unicorn. There was a strange smell of almonds. I realized what the unicorn was made out of. Plastic explosive. Hmm. It was a rubber fish. Yeah, useless rubber fish. All right, I'm not sure why I took the valve or if there's something else to do around here. Maybe I'll have to come back, I'm not sure. So what's my next goal? Find the real way. I don't know why I needed the valve. Did I just take it for fun? I'm kind of curious. Before I leave, I'm gonna check if there was anything to do in there. Just a quick check. I turned off a light. What did I what light did I turn on? Alright, it doesn't look like I don't think I could do anything, so. Joey. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I knew I shouldn't leave until I'd found out where the Bilby Tracker was. Sorry, Monopod. I think that I'll stay here. No problem, Citizen Graham. Hmm. Let's see, um... What exactly do I... How am I gonna find this out? I guess I could take a break. Was a rusty old locker. Thought maybe it would be in one of these. But I already. Yeah, I don't get it. Some of the trash was marked with the logo of Asio City. Where's the Gobi Tracker? Sorry about the noise outside. Pretend it's coming from the game, I guess. 
Wait, what? Whiteboard? Where? Where? What? Where's this whiteboard? The gas that had been flowing through the pipes was clearly powering the furnace. How do I fix this thing? Bilby, where are you? Bilby, Bilby, Bilby. Go back to the other side and figure out. Bill B. Bill B, Bill B, Bill B, where are you? Aha. Uh -huh. I human. That's it. I guess maybe that's gonna be an achievement on Steam. There's no achievements on iOS, unfortunately. Heavy duty throw switch. I don't know why I shut it. I don't know if it's supposed to. The valve controlled the flow of gas to the furnace below. Don't get it. Where am I going? Um. There was something up there I missed. Up the ladder. Sink here. Wait, what's that? Tether. A badly tied cable held the anchor sign to a support beam. I missed that before. I slid the crowbar under the cable, though I wasn't sure what I hoped to achieve. have the cleaver so I couldn't even do this before.
pipe had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas was leaking out. The pipe had been cracked by the falling anchor. Gas was leaking out. The sign was no longer a hazard, but the gas sure was. Hmm. The light fitting had been ripped from the wall, and the bulb smashed. Char grilling a mini K wouldn't do much for the smell. Oh. So I couldn't have done it earlier anyway, I needed the cleaver, so it's okay. I thought I went, I thought I, by missing that earlier, I made a mistake. The flames had died down, but the smell of burning waste still filled the air. Behind the furnace, I could now see a ladder leading up to a room. furnace was now off. Hey, kid. Are you all right? Late. <laughs> late, 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 late. Oh, is that what? A Shreveman port. Let me guess. Late. Late. Yeah, yeah. Old your bill be poppy. Grown ups are talking. Now, you. Why are you pretending to be Graham Grundy? How do you know that? My system flags every U-chip that walks through that door. And you are not Graham. Correct. Is he dead? Yes. Did you kill him? No. I just borrowed his ID. Mm. I see. Okie dokie then. Start talking. How do I know you're really elite? said I was, didn't I? The last guy I met told me he was late, and that didn't end well. Ah, that'd be Jimmy. He tried to cut off my thumbs. Sounds like Jimmy. Deep down, he means well. So what's your deal, Leet? Technical genius, ethical hacker, outlaw, fashion guru. Whatever you want to call it, I stay off the grid. Hiding from something? Me and Union City had a little ooh, disagreement a few years back. And we'll leave it at that. Who's the girl? Her name's Poppy. She's a Gaplander. Graham brought her here. 
told me he'd found her wandering around somewhere. Like kidnapping? Jeez! Who said anything about kidnapping? No. He was trying to help her. He thought she might be... connected. Connected to what? Everything. Or... maybe nothing. Well, that narrows it down. Hmm. Listen, pal. Graham had a loop, and he kept me out of it. Why does Poppy laugh all the time? Weird, huh? It's like someone turned the appy knob all the way up to 11, and then snapped it off. Graham never talked about it? Like I said, me and Graham had a strictly need-to-know relationship. So Graham just left you with Poppy? Said it'd only be for a day. Didn't turn out that way. Poor kid. Someone had to look after her. Guess that's me now. Why all this attention on my Shreveman port? Because, man! It's a Shreveman port! Do you have any idea how rare that is? Still regret having mine out. See? Okay, so what's your connection to Graham Grundy? Graham? Oh, he was just an... acquaintance. How do you know about me and him, anyway? Graham's wife mentioned you by name. She what? And I suppose she told you where to find me? No, that bit was easy. I just used the tracker. Whoa! A tracker? Yes, a toy tracker. In that Bilby. Bilby! Songbird's Bilby had somehow ended up in the young girl's hands. Oh, Graham! You amateur! Sounds like he was more than just an acquaintance. All right. I did know him. I'm the genius who put the mask demon and the data blocker on his ID. I took in the girl when he brought her to me when I knew I shouldn't have. Bilby Toy Tracker. Stupid, stupid, soft-hearted, stupid Graham. You said you put a data blocker on Graham's ID. Yes. But a fat lot of good it does when you tell everybody about me. Hey, Graham? Why did Graham want his own data blocked? Hell if I know. I run a tech service, not a chat show. He wanted two things from me. First was something to hide his own data from. Prying eyes. And the second thing? A way out of the city. Just for a day. Being an absolute bleeding genius, I manage both. Hence the Mask Demon. Okay, so if I want to find out what's going on here, I need to get rid of Graham's data blocker, yes? Yes. Can you remove it? Oh... Yes. But no. Graham's little disappearing act has totally messed with my mojo. Whole new level of security has been added to the Minos Gateway. I can't get in without my Mask Demon triggering every damn security protocol ever invented. Can't get rid of my Mask Demon without getting in! Basically, I'm saying, Minos is out, and it's a link space thing. You wouldn't understand. Is removing this data blocker complicated? Nothing's complicated if you've got the tools for the job. And you, sir, have got the tools for the job. You're talking about my Shreveman port? Exactly. All our problems solved by that glorious hole in the back of your head. You remember Link Space? Yes! Finally! I was beginning to think I was the only one in this city with a brain. That said, you may be the only one in the city with a Shreveman port. Which means, oh ho ho! Today might turn out to be a good day after all. Let me show you something. Follow me. Is that a link chair? It absolutely is. And I suppose you want me to sit in it. You've got a problem with your ID. I've got a problem with mine. The solution to both our problems lies in Minos. But thanks to Graham's selfish inability to not die, I can't access the system. So how do we get in? Via link space. There's a back door into Minos. Now, I'm the only man in this city with a functioning link space chair. And today, the only man in the world with a functioning Shreveman port 
walk through my back door. I need you to do this. You need you to do this. Poppy needs you to do this. The universe needs you to do this. The data blocker on Graham's account was stopping me finding out more about him. It sounded like Leet really could help me get rid of it. I needed to do what he said. All right, should I do this now or take a break? I could see a few errors in Leet's calculations, but I doubted he'd appreciate me telling him. So you need me to reach Minos through Link Space? Correct. Ready to strap in? I've got a few more questions. Oh, come on, man. Yeet wants his Minos back. I'm looking for a boy called Milo. He was kidnapped two nights ago. I tracked him here, to Union City. Hey, Poppy! You know a boy called Milo? <laughs> Bilby! Not Bilby! Milo! Ah, forget it. You really don't know any more about her? Hey, I'm just the babysitter. Actually, I'm good to go. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, ho, ho, buddy, you'd be surprised. Uh, Leet? Relax. You've done this before, right? A long time ago. Hey, it's like riding a bike. First thing you gotta do, make your way through Link Space to the Minos Portal. Is it easy to find? Maybe, maybe not. But Link Space should be completely empty these days. Minos Portal? Then what? Find your way to the ID Data Center. Bring up the accounts of Graham Grundy and Elliot Richardson. Whoa. Who's Elliot Richardson? Duh. Elliot. Leet. Gotcha. What's next? Eliminate the mask demons and the data blockers on both our accounts. Piece of pie. Easy as cake. Got it? Get to Minos. Then clear your software from our accounts. It's really that simple? Uh-huh. You'll figure it out. You seem like a bright spark. Now, let's fire this baby up. Can't wait to see if she still works, hey? Whoa, still works? What are you... Okay, hold on to your brain. How am I supposed to... I meant figuratively. Okay, this is a good place to stop, I think. Alright, so that is Beyond a Steel Sky. Check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.